Hello everyone, I'm Francesca. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be tackling the vegan Thanksgiving side dishes. And in my opinion, Thanksgiving side dishes are like the best part of the whole meal because I just love mixing all that like sweet and salty together. So good. So today I have three really easy side dishes for you guys and they're all delicious. So the first one is going to be a roasted vegetable stuffing. The second one is going to be the best vegan mashed potatoes ever. They're so fluffy and so light and so whipped up and so good. And the last thing is going to be a cornbread casserole, which is like so good. I have never made anything like this. And when I tasted it, I was like, oh my God, it's like a cake. Like it's just, it is heavenly. So the recipes are all really good. Full ingredient list is down below. There'll be links to the blog post in the description box. And let's get into these recipes. <laughs> So I already pre-chopped my veggies up so you guys didn't have to watch that. We have sweet potato, Brussels sprouts, and shallots. And then I am drizzling on a little bit of olive oil, about a teaspoon, and then we are going to put a few cracks of black pepper and sea salt right on there just to give it some flavor and toss the veggies together to get everything nice and coated. Then we're gonna place it on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper, and I'm just gonna spread it out with my spoon and place all the Brussels sprouts face side down so they get really, really crispy and nice and that way the insides is like kind of charred. It looks beautiful that way. Then we are going to bake these for 30 minutes at 450 Fahrenheit. We are just going to add two tablespoons of vegan butter into a big pot, pan, whatever this thing is, and I'm using the one from Miyoko's and half of the seasoning packet because I did not use all the bread cubes for this. And then two cups of veggie broth. We're gonna let that come to a boil and let the vegan butter melt up in there and this is so easy to make. You can use water if you want instead of the veggie broth, but the veggie broth is just gonna give it more flavor, so why not use veggie broth? And yeah, once it comes to a boil and whatnot, you can add your bread cubes in. Of course, if you wanna make homemade stuffing, you can. It's very easy to just cut up your own bread cubes and add in your own seasonings. I just did a box mix to make my life a little easier this time, and just let those bread cubes soak up all the flavor. Remove it from the heat and set aside. And then we're gonna add in all those gorgeous roasted veggies and just toss them in there, get everything well incorporated. And I loved the addition of the vegetables in there. Honestly, I was a little skeptical when I was like, I'm gonna try it like this, but they were really, really good. And then we're just gonna plate it up. I put it in my cute little baking dish that says souffle on it, the one from the chicken pot pie video. And yeah. Then I just added a few sprigs of fresh thyme on top just to make it look really pretty. And this is our gorgeous stuffing. So full of flavor, so full of color, so full of texture. Really, really delicious and will make any vegan or non-vegan very excited to eat it at your Thanksgiving or holiday table. On to side dish number two, I cut up my russet potatoes. I'm using two russet potatoes. You can use russet potatoes or golden potatoes. And I cut them up into pretty little chunks so that way they boil quicker. We're gonna put it into a pot, add enough water just to cover them, not too much. You don't need to like do tons and tons of water in there. And then we're just gonna boil those on the stove for about 20 to 30 minutes until they are super soft and fork tender. Once they're done boiling, you're gonna drain and rinse them, transfer them into a different bowl. And then I'm gonna add in vegan sour cream, vegan butter, and some non-dairy milk. Please make sure it is unsweetened, unflavored, otherwise you will end up with vanilla tasting mashed potatoes, which nobody wants. And then we're going to mash the potatoes up. I'm using a potato masher, but you could use a fork. You can also rice your potatoes if you want and then add in the vegan sour cream and milk and butter later. But as you can see, they get nice and fluffy and whipped and white, and that is exactly what we are going for. I keep the seasonings very light. I literally just add in salt. I do not like this to be an overly seasoned mashed potato. And then I just kind of mix it together, taste it and add more salt if necessary. If you wanna add in a little black pepper, a little fresh parsley, whatever you like, but I really like to keep these very plain because they're just too delicious that way. 
and you can see they're just fluffy and whipped and they're really incredible so then i'm going to garnish it i guess with a little bit of sea salt a tiny bit of black pepper some extra vegan butter on top because it looks so pretty when it like melts and it's like a little bit shiny it looks really great for serving honestly not gonna lie and it also looks great for pictures and a little bit of green onion just because i could not help myself to make it have something for a picture but i would probably just keep these plain if i were serving it for my own dinner and this is it when they're all done fluffy light whipped mashed potatoes that are going to make anybody happy they're really good and don't skimp on the vegan sour cream and the vegan butter you need both trust me Onto our cornbread casserole. So I just took some cornbread mix, I'm using the one from Trader Joe's, put that into a big bowl, adding in some melted vegan butter, vegan sour cream, it had been sitting on the counter for a while so that's why it's pretty soft, non-dairy milk, and a lot of fresh corn. And we're just gonna mix this up all together and a little bit of sugar, which is optional if you want it to be a little bit more on the sweeter side. This was pretty sweet, I'm not gonna lie. It was almost like eating cake, a really, really delicious cake. And just mix this all up all together and get it really well incorporated. Then I'm gonna add in some vegan mozzarella. You can use vegan pepper jack, vegan cheddar, whatever you like, or you don't even have to put the cheese in if you don't want to. And again, just mix that up. This is like a pudding. Like it comes out so custardy and creamy. It's really amazing. You really have to try it. So then I'm transferring it into a baking dish. This is a nine inch baking dish and just gonna spread that out all evenly. Make sure we got all the batter out. We don't wanna waste any of it. And then I'm gonna add a little more vegan mozzarella right on top. And we are going to bake this at 375 for about 40-ish minutes, depending on how long it takes your oven to make it look golden brown and when it comes out clean with a toothpick. But it should look like this when it's all done. And this is it. Beautiful, beautiful, easy, and so delicious. Honestly, this is so good. I can't believe I've never even made anything like this before ever because it was just honestly too delicious. Can't really recommend it enough. And I know it's hard to tell from this cut, but it's so custardy inside. Like it's so soft. I know it's gonna look like regular cornbread kind of or like cake-ish, but it's more than that. It is so much more than that. All right guys, those are our Thanksgiving sides. What did you think? What is your favorite Thanksgiving side? Let me know in the comments down below. I am definitely a stuffing girl all the way. I love stuffing. I mean, it's like soaked up bread cube. So who wouldn't love that? I have one more Thanksgiving video coming for you guys on Sunday for a vegan apple crisp for a dessert option. And if you didn't see the vegan pot pie, I will link it up above, wherever it goes, somewhere over here. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.